Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you. It's absolutely amazing for what is going on in the world and where we are not only as women but as individuals and globally what is happening and for those of you who do not know me by trade I'm a clinical hypnotherapist stress management consultant and action coach and every Tuesday I come live on Heal Talk Tuesday and once in a while every other week I have a show called a real talk where I interview certain individuals who have um, who are either authors speakers um, people who make an impact in the world and those who are an in inspiration and a motivation for so many because of who they are and their status. I'm Lisa Bubari and this is the 3E event. Journey within and harness your inner power September 30th, October 1st at the Western Rancho Mirage Resort and Spa. Get your tickets today at the 3eevent.com. Now, today I want to speak about a few things. I've been getting messages saying uh, how wonderful it is. Congratulations for me being on NBC TV with the beautiful Thalia Hayden. It's NBC TV uh, Palm Desert. And yes, I am not working there, but I have the honor of uh, being invited to be on her show on the news. Actually, I was on her show twice. One, it was a pre-recorded and the other one was live yesterday on, in the morning. And we drove at four o'clock in the morning from uh, here in my hometown. And it took me approximately two hours to get there, but you know what? It is worth it when something you want in life an experience that you want to experience um, something that means to you you know what just like love you'll go out of your way you will drive you will do anything it's not for the notoriety for the experience so life is experiences our past are our experiences. Everything we do now and we will be doing are parts of our life, our experiences and the things that we feel. So if you don't know, a part of the hypnotherapy that what I do, the method that I have created, the 3E method, is exactly that. And what does the 3E stand for? It stands for evoke what was so in a way what we do with my clients even at the 3e e event we evoke that means we bring forth we bring uh, to light all the things that we need to make a change amend edit shift delete right um, and let go of most importantly, let go of, and it can be blames, it can be anger, it can be resentment, it can be weight that has been weighing you down and you've been holding on to without understanding. Because a lot of times things happen to us and we hold on to a grudge, we hold on to a message, we hold on to things even unknowingly because at the time that it happened there was a feeling an emotion connected to it so that feeling you held on to it so that's the e, three e the first e is evoking it so bringing to surface to realize what it is that we need to clear the way if it is a block unblock it and just let it unravel the second one is uh, embrace. And why we say embrace is so that you can accept and appreciate who you are just as you are. 
and it doesn't matter what happened in the past the evoking part it doesn't really matter as long as you acknowledge it so that you can embrace what is happening here today in your life how it affected you and if that habit behavior experience is no longer something you want to feel related to and it can be from relationship it can be habits and behaviors it can be experiences that you gave meaning to it that it no longer has any barrier any meaning we let go and you say thank you so you embrace yourself and you say I am who I am because of everything and now today I truly accept and appreciate myself just as I am now what do you understand what I'm saying now what so from this day forward you make a choice and I'm gonna stop and pause over here for just a moment and say when I was being interviewed yesterday on NBC the beautiful Thalia asked me a question we were talking about women's empowerment as my 3e event is happening this coming weekend which is Friday Saturday at the beautiful Western Rancho Mirage and you can still buy tickets to come the hotel is sold out but you can still get tickets if you want to and uh, she asked about what is happening in Iran and for those of you who do not know I was born in Iran so Iran uh, in, in, at, in the capital which is Tehran and it has a very heartfelt um, connection that country still does the language does because I still speak it I still speak Farsi I can write it I can read it and what is happening in our country it what happened to um, Ms. Amini Masa it it is truly heartbreaking and you would think that in this century things like this does not happen now was she at the wrong place at the wrong time it doesn't matter but what has happened to her and what happened to uh, Mala many years ago in the Pakistani and how she has come to be the voice of so many young girls young women and now uh, Masa Amini uh, her death has evoked something in not only in women but men in that country but human beings everywhere globally that such a tr uh, atrocity is not acceptable anymore that you don't beat a woman to death and she went into coma a few days before she died and it is very sad but unfortunately and fortunately if it is her calling if that was the reason this has become a movement for others to truly show up stand up speak up and a lot of people have been voicing from celebrities from governmental people even therapists women children are saying how is this possible it is possible it is happening it is happening not only in the country that I was born it is happening in many countries even as an Armenian what's happening in Armenia what's happening towards women that most people are not aware 
it's happening in America it's happening in Middle East in general it's happening in African countries in Asian countries everywhere so when I started putting together an event called the 3E e event which is to empower women so they can show up stand up speak up and have a safe place to be like-minded women that not only safe and I mean it like a safe place not because anywhere else any other event is a danger but to be who you are to truly get away from family and give yourself two days just to be you find new friends um, networking learn about how to manage abundance of wealth and set, step up your own game with healers speakers become a part of the book that I'm going to be unveiling and you know learn to move your body with no judgment to become healthier stronger in mind in body and the healing exercises we do the beautiful plush place that it is and the mountains that truly safeguard the energy the energy of palm springs and palm deserts the mountains it's glorious but back to her it's now she's going to be the spiritual voice of everyone saying this cannot happen anymore and we've been saying this a lot of people say why is it all your event for women and not everybody now you understand because as women we really need to stand by one another and stand together and hold hands and say I appreciate you for who you are you matter that everything that we go through from the time that we grow up and some people may not agree to this but that's exactly what it is it's like we're putting together your dowry so we can give you away nowadays it's not a dowry but it's a showcase of millionaires doing the wedding and the wedding has become a showcase of bringing this beautiful bride and handing it or saying okay now I hand off my daughter to you and the more you have the more the showcase the less you have it's like I am so sorry this is all I have and here's my daughter so it's still happening in many countries and that's why it affected me and so many from my country so many of my friends so many of us that we have to stand up and it's not in a riot but in saying I'm right here I'm here to sit with you to hold your hand to stand with you and I don't have to go on a march but to say how beautiful you are and that's the evolve part once we are where we are now that there is this movement now what what is the next step how are we elevating one another how are we nourishing nurturing embracing accepting one another and when we see something wrong instead of going into a shock why not voice it and say I see this happening and I too want to say that is not acceptable you know the veil when we go to church as a Catholic when I go to church when I got married we have to put the veil and when we get to the point that the husband 
they actually the father unveils it and says okay now I unveil you I kiss you and I hand you off and the husband puts it back and then after they are announced that you are married that's when again the unveiling happens or in front of the church uh, in front of the priest that's when the unveiling happens so she can have the body of Christ which is the bread and then the wine so you see I'm not saying tradition is not bad I am highly traditional and yet very much evolved I love the tradition but the tradition at what cost at whose cost will I give my life to it you know why I will not so today when yes my book that I was part of collaborative part of 24 women and our stories the powerful female immigrants and who inspire greatness in others every single one of these stories mine is on page 54 journey within journey to heal within and that's exactly what my chapter is all about the three phases of how it came about where we, where I was and how I healed within that's exactly what I did that's why the name of my business is heal within that's why we are doing the heal talk that's why even the three E which is an entity of its own and so much more happening we're creating a movement of the three E movement so that we as women come together to evoke passion so we can embrace our femininity and it doesn't matter who we are where we are what labels what ranks what titles it doesn't matter so that we can evolve spiritually because we are one we are children of God so when we say spiritually it doesn't mean spiritually but the spirit within us so today I want to give two people if you text eight one text three e the number three and e to eight one eight two two one two seven nine seven again text three e to eight one eight two two one two seven nine seven the first two people I will gift you two tickets if you steal wish to join us at the 3e e event happening at Palm Desert it will be my gift for you to come and experience and be part of healing within and journey to heal within yourself it's going to be epic transformational and just think of it we're not even a hundred but is the impact of what's going to happen and how we're going to embrace one another is going to be surmountable absolutely as someone said magical so I would like to take a minute of silence for the beautiful spirit and the soul who has become a part of a movement Masa Masi Amini and for this moment of silence I thank you and I truly wish you all the best if you like this message by all means please show us a like share this join us and as always you may subscribe to heal talk Tuesdays on 
here and on YouTube. Powerful female. Thank you so much for putting the messages here. Thank you for all of my committee members and for all the ladies who in the background, who just called me. Thank you, Elizabeth, for your beautiful message of saying, although you can't be there, it's as if we looking at you and knowing that you are with us. And for all of you who are going through any other kind of a hardship, may God's blessings be with you and strength. And may the universal light surround you. See you next week. I'm Lisa Bubari and this is the 3E event. Journey within and harness your inner power September 30th, October 1st at the Western Rancho Mirage Resort and Spa. Get your tickets today at the3eevent.com. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here.